What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ben, your host. So today when it comes to watchOS 11, I'll be happy to let you know that we now have a new software update. And as you can see, this is watchOS 11.2 developer beta 3. For me on my Apple Watch Ultra 1, it comes in at exactly 296 megabytes. And I was simply just updating from the previous watchOS 11.2 beta 2. Now, obviously, this is not all that Apple released just to keep you in the loop you can see alongside watchOS 11.2 beta 3 we also got macOS 15.2 beta 4 I already did a video on that we got iPadOS 18.2 beta 4 alongside iOS 18.2 beta 4 and in case you didn't know yesterday Apple also released a bunch of updates including iOS 18.1.1 but there was no watchOS version to correspond with that and that's kind of unfortunate but most of these updates i do cover here on the channel at half man Aptech. so let me quickly just update my apple watch and then we're gonna see what are the new features and changes that this update has to offer just like that my device is now up to date and now if we go into the settings right here and then go to where it says general and software update we are up to date on watchOS 11.2 and it takes a little while to load of course since this is a first attempt to go to this page but if we go to the about you can see this is watchOS 11.2 with the build number 22s 5094a so this build number ends with an a and if you know what this means it typically indicates that this is more of a stable build and i could tell that this was definitely a stable build compared to the previous beta 2 that had i had issues installing beta 2 and a number of users had issues installing beta 2 with beta 3 i could tell that yes this feels more of a polished update and even the update and the preparation time that it took wasn't that long and the only thing that's taking long is this page here usually it should pop up and say hey you are up to date but let's see if we open up our apple watch application and then go to general and software update give it a few seconds seems to be the same thing right here now this is typical after an update but let's talk about the new features and changes that this update has to offer because there are quite a few and the first one has to do with fitness and this is going to complement the latest ios 18.2 update so if you open up the fitness application on your iphone and then you go to the award section you'll notice that they've added a new award and it's all rings closed award and it says you can earn this award award when you close all your rings 1000 times you've done it 50 times so far so i still have a couple of more ring closures to go i'm 50 percent there but this is one of the new rings that they've added if you achieve it and activate it obviously it's going to look something like this and this is one of those new awards that you can get in the fitness app once you've achieved it Something else that I would like to report on, and this was affecting a lot of users, especially those that have the Apple Watch Ultra 2, Apple Watch Series 10, and fairly newer Apple Watch devices that have or had a higher battery maximum capacity. Because before on the previous update on Beta 2, if you would update to it, there was an issue. It was kind of a serious bug because for a number of users, when they would go into their battery settings right here and then okay most of my settings are a bit slow and then go to where it says battery health right there they will be able to see that the maximum health capacity would have dropped i forgot to check mine this is the apple watch ultra one but for a lot of users even those that have the ultra 2 which is a fairly new device those that have the series 10 series 9 ultra one they would update to beta 2 and their battery health maximum capacity would basically drop by about an average of 5%. But for me, you can see it's on 89%. And if you are worried about updating or if you updated and your battery health dropped, then once you update to this watchOS 11.2 beta 3, that issue is going to be fixed and is going to be a thing of the past. Something else that watchOS 11.2 offers alongside the iOS related version, iOS 18.2, in the shortcut application, when you open it and then you search for fitness shortcuts that you can initiate 
on your iPhone to trigger certain functions. You notice here they've added multiple options. So now you have about uh, seven different options that you can do in the shortcuts app. And this will go a long way to basically save you time as you are trying to do different workouts and close your rings through the means and optimizing different shortcuts that you can now set up. Now, a certain user asked me to check for this, but yeah, I'm in Canada and they still have the blood oxygen levels. If I was wearing my Apple Watch properly, you can see I can initiate this and it needs you to be still, but because I'm talking and moving my hands, that's why I'm getting this unsuccessful measurement, which is something that I've always had. And then when it comes to sleep apnea, you can see the notifications tab is still there and it's active but because I don't have a supported series it will tell me that it's not available on your Apple watch this is only supported on the ultra 2 and I believe the series 10 but it's kind of unfortunate that the even the ultra 1 you know fairly expensive and fairly newish device doesn't support this but yes it's also still here with this update it's not going anywhere just like the bo2 max now basically that's how this update came in for me in terms of battery life and performance you know if, if you're curious to see how it's been so far i actually forgot to check my maximum health capacity to see how it was affected but if that's something you're worried about then it's good that this update fixes that and at the same time if i want to go and show you how my device has been you can see you know, I today I, I wasn't using it so much. And basically, if I was to give a rating for this watchOS 11.2 beta 2 that I was on previously, because beta 3, I recently just updated to it. So it would take a couple of days to know how the battery is. It been fairly average for me. I can't really tell much of a difference it's now back to normal unlike the original watch os 11 that was draining my apple watch like crazy on my apple watch ultra one now that's just what i have here in terms of performance it feels snappy the only thing that seems a little bit glitchy maybe i might need to restart my apple watch some settings sections seem to take a little bit of time to load and this is still like maybe if i was to if i was to close this just like that and then i'll close the settings and then i'll go back and see if that page reloads so general and then software update yeah you can see it like loads endlessly and at the same time if i go to the iphone ios um apple watch application it also does the same things and i noticed while doing testing there's actually kind of uh, other sections in settings that are loading like this so that's maybe one of the bugs that this update has to offer but typically once you update to a beta the first few uh hours sometimes it takes only minutes but with the first few times it might be able to load slowly like this or take long but typically by the time i do research and do the video it would have resolved most of the background processes but hopefully this is just a minor bug and nothing serious if it does get worse then definitely i'll update you right here on the channel that's about it for me if you like this video about watchOS 11.3 then definitely do hit like and subscribe i'll be covering it until it's officially released and um yeah definitely stay tuned for the next video my name is ben and i'm signing off peace